Now, a lot of you know that there's no such thing as a Back to the Future Power Wheel, so explain how is this here? Uh, so, this is all custom made, designed in a computer, cut out on a uh, uh, computer controlled router, vacuum form. So, all of this was made in about a month and a half. Only a month and a half. Wow, amazing job, folks. I mean, look how close that represents there. That's worth your moxie alone. And also, because Charles here has, there's a rule named after Charles here because he requested it. The rule stipulates that you can build a car under two rules. One, you either start with a plastic power wheel body and modify it into this racing electric cart that you see here, or you take something from the ground up and make it look like it's a power wheel. So you either start as one or you finish as one. And these two teams opted to finish as power wheels while these other teams have opted to build from power wheels. So I'd like to point out we have one part of an original power wheels on this. It's right here, folks, that label that says power wheels. <laughs> I, in the Power Racing Series, that's possible. That's how it works around here. We do have the label there. As we move a little bit further back in the grid here, we have mini monsters racing and we have a spare driver. Uh, how long have you been putting laps on this car? Uh, since right after the Moxie event. So uh, have, you, have you gotten a feel for how it will perform? I think so. It's kind of tippy, but good. It's a good kind of tippy. I'm not sure how to describe that in any other way. Now, Cartastrophe, you're coming into this weekend, and you are essentially tied in first place with NIMBY. How are you going to make the difference? Um, the idea is to avoid some traffic today. After seeing that first race, a little nervous about the number of cars going on. So I think we're going to try and steer clear of some of the other cars and just hope for the best. That is a solid strategy, and it served you well in the past. Two wins le uh, last month in Kansas City for Cartastrophe, including the Endurance Run. Now, now we're talking to Audrey here with Lotusaurus Rex from Milwaukee Makerspace. She is definitely in contention here, has the car horn and everything. It's been a quiet weekend for you. Is it time for you to step up? We'll see what we can do. We'll are, are, are you going to turn into a dinosaur to get to the front of the field? Might. We'll see, she says. All right, so also, uh, Iron Rose. Hi, how are you feeling about this grade? It looks a bit intense up front. I just want to beat Audrey. She, oh, a little bit of inter-team rivalry from Milwaukee Makerspace. That's a pretty interesting run. Um, now, drivers, I want you, before you, climb, before you finish climbing your charge, please check your transponders and make sure that the little red light is blinking. You might have to cover it up and make sure that that LED is working properly. If you can't reach lights, someone should go over there and grab and check the light on there just to make sure that we're good to go. We want to make sure that we can keep track of the insanity you're about to pull off in the next couple of moments as the rest of the grid gets completely full and ready to go. Can I get a thumbs up on that? We have uh, Chad checking. We're good now. We good here? Front row. Sarah, are you good? Audrey, you're good? Inventicart, good. Inventicart's always good, right? Yep. Quiet nods and approval. Awesome. Matilda, awesome. From all hands active, the only power wheel you can stand on. I, I imagine, though, you might want to not stand this much for this race. <laughs> He's shaking his head. You'll see that tomorrow in the endurance run. Something that you'll have to look out for if you are here for both days of Make It Fair Detroit. But right now, Patrick, are we uh, ready to race?